this fashion forward look is courtesy of Miller Technologies. It's where they take land cruisers and adapt them to go work in the mines. They export them all over the world. There's one of only two places in North America that do these kind of revisions, if you like. And it's really quite a process. They only use Land Cruisers now. They've experimented with other makes over the years. They were established in 1989. They've come back and remade with Land Cruisers. They're the only ones who can take the beating, not just of being reinforced. The reinforcements are outrageous. I thought for some weird reason that this would mean that these trucks would last forever in use down in the, down in the mines. Five years is about what they get out of them, and we've got photos of one of them that's come back up. I cannot believe what these vehicles go through. It's just astounding, but it's really neat. We're now on our way to the mine in Sudbury, Ontario to see these vehicles in action. I am a little bit nervous, not going to lie, anxiety's up. Um, this is kind of overwhelming and I'm wearing about 47 pounds of stuff. They say the camera adds 10 pounds. Forget the camera, it's the jumpsuit. And I know you think I'm overreacting, but I'm not. This is weird. Where are we, Lorraine? 2,600 feet down. It's awesome. We've got one of the adapted Land Cruisers behind me. The thing looks like it went down with the Titanic. It's only about five years old. That's about the max time they get, so they try and get seven years out of them. I asked about the tires. They said the tire punctures are what takes the tires out before the tires actually go. The, the pH level down here is so high that it's a really corrosive environment, so all the yuck you see all over this stuff, that is basically the water corroding the components of everything that's down here. I have never been so grateful to see sunlight. This is unbelievable. We took an elevator down 2,600 feet, which took eh, less than a minute. And then we drove this little beast back up all the way up to the surface. The sun felt great. It's restricted to three gears, apparently 30 kilometers an hour. My butt feels like we were going 100 kilometers an hour. I know we weren't. At one point, it started kind of raining a little bit. That sketches you out. Anyway, this is kind of phenomenal. And now we're gonna drive back on the surface and it's two totally different experiences. Now I know how gophers feel.